Hello everyone and uh, I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, Lester said something about being thankful and uh, I'm thankful that from the Lord's drawing and his sovereignty that you know, I have become a Bible believer finally, being a church Christian, maybe and then church dropped out. And now I'm here with a fellowship and being fed. So I'm just so thankful to the Lord. Uh, there's nothing I could do to get to this point. Uh, I, I'll be in this country for 47 years old, coming from overseas, and uh, never thought that you know the Lord would find me. I primarily came for my profession. So I'm just, it's like I can't thank enough. Um, I would like to bring up uh, Genesis from chapter 4. 4 o'clock in the morning yesterday, I woke up and I was looking for something on Facebook and I saw your study of Genesis 4 that you compare with Matthew 13 about the harvest, the process of time. Uh, the, it says the end of day in King James and then you tie it to the uh, Matthew chapter 13, but a few days before that, I was comparing with Genesis 4 with Genesis 22, and it seems like Genesis 4, to me, is more spiritual. Um, the uh, sacrificial animal offered by Abel, uh, the, the, the sex, the, whether it's female or male, of the, the animal was not uh, specified, but in Genesis 22, definitely it was a ram, and I'm thinking that Genesis 22 is, is more vivid, more visual of Christ's uh, sacrifice physically when he entered this womb, I mean uh, the world. Uh, Abel is probably Christ's offering, uh, but more spiritual, and when I looked up his name, it says vanity, so perhaps at the foundation, it was very brief that, you know, Christ got sacrificed and became, it was uh, very brief. So but is your question about Genesis 4? The, is it about Genesis the process 4. of time? Yes. Uh, no, um, Genesis 4 were able, uh, it's here, 4-4. Four, four. Genesis 4-4, four, four. okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a um, Well, let me read here in Genesis 4, Verse 3 and 4. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Jehovah. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and the fat thereof. And Jehovah had respect unto Abel and to his, his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. Yes, the and word I was curious about is the firstlings. I'm like, did he? Well, I, I, I'm he, sorry, I, I don't remember that word. He, but uh, let me just comment on on um, what's in going on overall, in general here. In the Hebrew, process of time is literally in the end of days. And it's in the end of days that Cain um, and Abel are, uh, are, are making this offering. And Abel will offer of his flock, and Cain will offer of the ground. And there's many theologians who say, well, you see, that's the problem. Abel gave an acceptable offering because it was a sacrificial offering. That is, an animal was slain, and Cain did not um, have an acceptable offering because it was, it was um, things that he grew from the ground. And yet, when you look in the Bible, there are acceptable offerings that are not uh, animal sacrifice. So that, that's not it at all. It's just in the end of days, God makes it known, and this would tie into our time at the end of the world, that He is going to um, provide a test for all those that are identified with him, like Cain and Abel were, to see who is a true child of God and who is not. It, it ties in with the wheat and the tares 
which um, <laughs> happened at, at after 13,000 years of history at yeah, the end of that time. Was Matthew 13, you brought right, up. right, yeah. and, and and so um, Cain was trusting in his actual work of the offering, where Cain, I mean Abel, was not trusting in the actual work of offering the animal sacrifice, but he was trusting in the one it pointed to. So his works were righteous because it wasn't his work, it was the work of Christ. And Cain's works were evil because they were Cain's works and not Christ. And, and so God also makes a point of letting them both know that one uh, offering is acceptable and the other is not acceptable, just like he made no with the separation of the wheat and the tares that the acceptable ones uh, are those I will put over here as, he, as the Lord brought them out of the church. And the non-acceptable ones are the ones that remain behind. So it, it relates very much to the separation that came at the end of the world. Okay, no, but no, I, I, I'm sorry, we the, the, the word we, that we I, have some other callers. No, just this one word that I that's why I came up here for. I, I know, but I already told you I can't the help you with that word. The first is I, I don't know. I